Hey everybody, we're going to look at the Match EQ plugin right now. This is something I've talked about a little bit in the past, but I want to do a quick one today. And then in the next couple weeks, I'm going to do a more advanced one. This is uh, one of those plugins which promises a lot. And I feel like sometimes it lets me down and sometimes it's perfect. But the idea is this, is that you can learn your current spectrum of whatever's going through this. You can take a reference spectrum, something that you're going to analyze outside of what you're listening to, and then it's going to create a curve which brings the first one closer to what the second one sounds like. So I've got this song we're working on right now. This is the beginning of it. I'm going to skip ahead to where there's voice, but I'm going to learn the EQ curve or the spectrum curve at that point. Now, I'm going to turn off Learn. Instead of playing something for the reference, I'm going to generate a reference spectrum from an audio file. And I've got a few in here. I'm just going to pull one from my iTunes library. It's doing it off of the entire song when you load it this way. So there is one benefit to just choosing a small segment of it. I just can't show you that because of copyright issues, but I'm trying to show you alternate ways of doing this. So this one looks a lot more like what I would expect. So here's before. How to do for you, so I walked away. That's when we began to see the truth. So more often than not, I'm going to smooth it out quite a bit so it's more big strokes instead of the jagged little thing like that. That's really going to cause some issues. But if you smooth it out, you, you can really see some of the differences. So this is one way I would use this. If I have a track that I really like, then I can use it as the reference. And then when I put my current one in there, it'll show me some of the big differences between the two. So, for instance, I need to maybe get rid of some of the mud still on my mix. I need to boost up some of the, like, area around the voice diction. There seems to be a lot of this range in my mix and hardly any of the high frequencies compared to that one. Now, the track here, uh, it's like a fully mastered, commercially released song. And so I do trust it. I do trust the song that I use as the reference. However... It doesn't mean that it's a perfect fit for mine. I do think once I smoothed it out, then it definitely sounded better. Reach beyond your fear. You reached beyond your years. Grabbed my hand and never let it go. Don't know what you said to make stop inside my head you promised me a life I'd never known that's when we begin to see the truth you can see you have a lot of control for actually tweaking some of this stuff too this is like a very powerful equalizer and so I do think that there is some benefit to actually working in this way. Now, this is a real-time plugin, which means this is happening on one of the tracks. I put it on the master here, so the entire mix is going through it. And I do think that there's a lot of potential here for this. Now, getting it to work really well, that's a, a few more steps down the road. And like I said, I'm just doing more of an overview tonight. 
And then I think in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to actually pull this out and do a bunch more with this to try to see other examples where we might want to use this. So this is one example on the overall mix. But what if I want just a kick drum to sound more like something or I mean, it's, you could almost use it like a vocoder. Um, you could use it like a synthesizer in some way. So there's some stuff to explore with this. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this brief look at the Match EQ and you can see some of the power of it. And we'll do more videos soon.